All right, hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle here on Bite Size Beefs. Ah, welcome back everybody. It's been a while since I've had a chance to record this because of the holidays and shenanigans and whatnot, but it feels good to be back playing Mario and Rabbids. I've been so very excited to get back to it. Oh, here we go. What do we got here? I can't tell if that's the same rabbit or two neighbors trying to avoid each other. Huh, maybe that rabbit has some sort of like temporal displacement some temporal displacement properties so every time he enters a door he exits another one but uh, yeah I'm so so happy to be back uh, recording this again for everybody especially after the uh oh we've got a boss coming up oh my and this is a boss episode oh snap so I'll do a little talking before I get into the actual boss because there's gonna be cutscene and everything but uh yeah no I'm very very happy to be back here playing the game and uh, especially after the a mistake that happened before. I mean, you sh you've already heard it a couple times now, but uh, just to make sure everybody knows, um, I hit Control S on my commentary track, and the program crashed while it was saving. Nothing I could have done to save it, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, we're back to a fresh new recording session, and I've got a couple things that I want to talk about because I didn't get to be able to talk about them in the story time episodes. So I'll get I'll talk about those while I'm doing the uh, boss fight. But before we go into the boss fight, I'm gonna make sure that everybody's all well and good with all of their weapons. So let's go to Mario. Let's see what what, is, what does he have for secondary weapons here. Not much, but I think he has a secondary weapon we're good with because it's got the bounce. Yeah, it's got the bounce. What about? Oh no, wrong one. Y for primary, and he's got the ceramic panic as well. Yeah, seems like a good one. I like that one. All right, good. So Mario's good. We'll go to Rabid Mario. Now we haven't had a chance to look at any of Rabid Mario's guns because I think the pixel gun is the best we have for him at the moment, but, uh, yeah, because that's that sweet, the cartridge commander has that sweet vamp chance, and I am never getting rid of that vamp chance, I'm going to try and keep that on him, but we have new secondaries for him, like, this also has vamp chance, ooh, <laughs> look at that, and it has, oh, it's increased against supporters as well, interesting, so I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to buy the special delivery, and we will equip it, because yes, very much so. And Rabbit Peach still doesn't have too many new carts that she can buy for her secondaries. She's got the one that has the push damage, which seems to be doing very well for us. But what about her primary? I think we've got a really good, the pain sprayer is a really good primary for her. Yep, so we're all good there. What about, what about Ouija? There was one we wanted to buy for Ouija that he couldn't afford, which was, ah, yes. The Blastberry Swirl, which also has Vamp. I like how he has the one with burn chance, but I do like Vamp. Vamp is one of my favorites. Plus, look at that. Look at look at how beautiful this is. It's like a purpley, teal, bluish. Looks delicious. Looks absolutely delicious. And then we've got... Ah, oh, yes, the new one. The Thunder Scepter. Which is 45 to 55 damage. Increased chance to push against hoppers. But then again, we also have the bullet nader, or the bullinator, which will give us that burn chance. Which, uh, I'm thinking, yeah, if I'm going to have vamp on the main one, I want to have the burn chance on the secondary one. So we'll buy that for him. And then I really, you know, it's, it's a shame because I really, I don't, what is that? Buona, oh, Buontasaurus Rex. Uh, I really don't want to use Luigi. I'm not a very good sniping person. I always forget how to play snipers. And I, I always think that they're good. I'm like, oh, they're far enough back. And they're never far enough back. They never are. So we're just going to leave Luigi with what he's got. And we'll see if there's any skill tree shenanigans we can do. It doesn't look like it. Because everybody's at 25. I think I'm saving up for something big for them. So we'll probably be able to get something big at the end of this boss fight. So... Here. We. Go. Or should I say, here we go! Like the Mario. But I don't, I, I, yeah, whatever. It's cheesy, it's corny, it's whatever. Oh! Oh, what is he? Icicle Golem? Effective icebreaker? <laughs> I mean, hey, y'all, if anybody's trying to, you know, get with somebody they have an interest in, just drop an Icicle Golem. Apparently it's an effective icebreaker. So if you want to talk to that cute boy or cute girl, you know, that cute person you're interested in, just drop an Icicle Golem on him. Effective Icebreaker every time. <laughs> so let's see, he uses a fridge as a shield. Oh, that is... That is far... Oh, he freezes us too! Jeez! I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this fight already. Oh, who's this? <gasps> it's Princess Peach! What? 
She's got a gun! And a smirk. Never trust a lady with a gun and a smirk. <gasps> She's healing us with fire! <laughs> yes! Oh no! No, he took away- No, I just upgraded Peach! You can't do this to me! I love my rabid Peach, but now we got straight up real Peach. Ah, oh, see, because I, I really wish I could swap out Mario, because I'd rather have rabid Mario than both Peaches. Look at how stealthy this Peach is! I'm, can I- can I get- can I- can I zoom in on her? Is there a way to zoom in? I would like to zoom in on Peach. Look at how stealthy she is. Taking a full back against the bricks. Getting ready to go. So what does she even do? Hold on. We have to go over to her. And she does... Royal Gaze when triggered. 72 to 80 weapon damage. And then Protection. Heroes in range. 40% damage reduction. That's good. And she's also got the Blue Flame, which is a... It looks like a normal blaster. And then she's also got the duckies? Or the duckess? I don't... I don't know what the duckess is, but I'm willing to find out. So we'll put... How, how many health? Oh, Peachy's got three... She has 340 health? Well, to be fair, we haven't been upgrading our guy's health, so... You know, maybe. What about the duckies? The duckess? It bounces? That is the duckess, yes? All right, let's try it. Let's throw it up. The Duck S. What does it do? Oh, it's a grenade. Ah, Peachy is a supporter. I like, I like very much. And then we will, yes, cast protection because he's probably going to open with something big. And I don't want none of that. And then we will jump Mario over. Will he be able to reach from over here? Doesn't matter if he's able to reach from over there. We'll still do it. And, oh, he can reach, but he's still got zero chance to hit. I forgot. But, uh, we'll take the shot anyway. Because we can. And then... Yeah, we won't do anything. Come on, rabid Mario. You can't jump twice, can you? Nope, can't jump twice, unfortunately. But, uh, I feel confident letting rabid Mario go out on his own. So, we will let him go out on his own. Oh, I should have... I... Okay, it's been a few... It's been a little while. And what I should have done is, you're probably yelling at me, is I probably should have got close and done Magnet Dance. But we'll do Magnet Dance next turn. Hopefully. And then that might draw his fire and we can hit this guy with some big old boys. Oh no, Critical Freeze! Peachy, no! Not our beloved Peach! She's so... I would say she's so fragile, but she's actually pretty beefy. <laughs> she's one of the beefiest, beefiest boys we've got. So we'll switch back over to Peachy. And then we will jump wait what was that wait what does she what does she do when she lands hold on hold 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 on hold on now what do you do when you land C tacti cam let's see royal gaze protection pipe exit reigns cleanse and heal jump so if you do a team jump you heal what am i reading that right well let's check it out let's check it out if we launch her off of mario and then land her, like, back here, or right next to him. Will she heal him? Uh, la, 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 la. Well, I mean, he's not damaged, so we won't really see it on there. And we don't want to put her next to another freeze, because she'll get frozen again. But, uh... Man, this is a difficult choice, because it's a big old boss. We'll, we'll put her back here. We will put her back here. And we'll see if she heal jumps after this. Let's see it. Yeah, whenever she jumps, she heals. So she's got a very high mobility, all right? Can't do anything with her. Can't do anything with Mario either, because he's got that shield up. So we'll go over to Rabid Mario, and we can't... Ah, oh, just had a kick slide range. Darn. But what we will do is we will get up in range for the dance. And then we will dance. Dance our little heart away. Magnet dance. No one around to target. What do you mean no one around to... He's there. He's right there. What a jerk. Well, I guess we will try and blast him with this big old boy. Get him, Mario. Rabid Mario. Critical. Immune. But, oh yeah, I forgot we destroy our own cover when we do that. Uh, sure, why not? We'll use the ability to reduce the damage incoming. And we can't do anything with Peach. But we can maybe do something with Mario. No, we can't kick slide him either. But can we hit him with the gun? No, because he's facing us. Jeez. Well, what if we jump Mario off down... 
No, because you get the... I don't like this. We'll just... We'll wait with Mario. We will wait with Mario. Because even... Actually, you know what? We'll use Hero Sight, because if he gets a chance to shoot him in the back, if the guy turns around to go for Rabid Mario, then that's good enough. Hopefully he does turn around and go for Rabid Mario. That'd be great. Yes, he does! Right in the booty! Ha-ha! Ha-ha-ha-ha! It is working. It is strategically good. Aim for Mario. Nope. Aims for Peach and Freezes her again. Again. Let's see here now, though. So, oh yes, one of the things I did want to talk about was uh, one of the board games that I never really got to mention while we were, while I was talking about them during the uh, story times, was I actually was able to get my hands on the League of Legends board game, the Mechs vs. Minions, that was released about last year. Uh, I know a lot of people were looking for that game because uh, I had a few people that I know get pretty jealous that I was able to get one because they sold out almost instantly. When you tried to get to the, um, the store page, it was just... That was it. It was gone. Like, it was crashing. The store page was crashing. You were trying to order your uh, copy, and you'd either crash or you wouldn't get through. And I managed to get through, and I managed to get one of the copies. So, I actually have one of the original prints that has some of the errors on it, and uh, it's also numbered on the bottom. I think it's number 9196. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put it on the screen right here, so I'll go check the box, and I'll put it on the screen, maybe a picture of it, on screen for you all right now, to see it. So yeah, I actually have the Mechs vs. Minions uh, limited edition print, at least, with the numbers, and uh, that's that was a pretty cool thing to get. I actually was in class when the orders were up, and I just kept refreshing the page, just trying to get my credit card information to go through, just because I wanted to make sure I had a chance at getting that game. So we will jump heal Peach, just like this, why not? Jump heal them both, because it seems like a good idea. Bam, there we are. So that's a heal that doesn't have a cooldown for turns then. Interesting. But can Mario get thrown and jump on him? No, it looks like we can't do any movement-based stuff to this guy, because he's too big. So we will just shoot him in the face, which is for the face. Ooh, 98. Very good, very good. I probably should have used my power-up to end him, but... Uh, Wait, do we have anybody else? Nope, good. Uh, so yeah, so I got the Mechs vs. Minions while in class, and it arrived, and we've been playing through it as a little friend group, trying to get through the main campaign. It is a bit difficult, but it's a very fun game. The details of the miniatures are absolutely great. Like, all the little minions aren't necessarily painted in, but they're so well detailed, like, they don't need to be painted in. They have so much character and life to just little minions. <laughs> it's fantastic. So we're gonna we're gonna hammer this guy with a big old post office box, with a PO box directly to your face. Boom! boom. Oh, there goes his shield. Uh oh, he's gonna get angry. Yeah, I knew that. Oh, jeez. Well, it looks like we've got Mario to be able to increase our power here for a bit. So yeah, all the miniatures are really well done. Uh, the character figures, which are if you're not familiar with the Mechs vs Minions board game are four Yordles from the League of Legends game itself, which are Tristana, Corky, Heimerdinger, and Ziggs. Let's see here now. Actually, can we get uh, Peach to jump, maybe? Yeah, because then she'll heal a bit, so we'll jump her. We'll jump her a little over here. We'll keep them spread, so that way there's no multiple damage going on here. There we are. And then we'll get Mario. Actually, we'll, we'll keep them close together. Right, so you get those four Yordles in Mechs vs. Minions. Sorry, I'm getting a little sidetracked. I'm trying to detail what's going on here and also, you know, talk about Mechs vs. Minions. i got a lot on my plate to talk about. So, uh, yeah, in Mechs vs. Minions, basically what you do is you build uh, your sequence. It's a, like a sequence building game. So you draw cards to fill up your Mechs command line. So you have six slots on your sheet. And you can put a card on those slots in order to have your Mech uh, do something that round. Oh, I'm out of range, darn. So, and then during each round, you execute your command line. So if you move forward two squares, then turn left or right 90 degrees, then fire off a chain lightning, and then back up two squares, then you have to do all of that every one of your turns. But the best part is, is as you're playing through the game, as you're playing through the game, you will actually uh, be able to level up those. 
So once you level up a lot of the turn, like if you have a turning card that says turn 90 degrees, if you get to do a third level card by playing three of the same color and or same card on top of each other, then you'll be able to turn any direction you want at any, like when that card comes up, you'll be able to just pick your direction, which is better than having to turn 90 or 90 or 180, because then, you know, I guess if you have 90 or 180, it's pretty much anything you can really want, but being able to face any direction just takes the complication out of it, really. So, yeah, and there's cool things like uh, special attack abilities and such. What is this now? When triggered? Ah, yes. So we'll go over to Rabid Mario. Make sure Rabid Mario gets the uh, gets in here first. And we'll get the big old booty boy. Oh, what? What's this? Oh, he had... Oh, he had Overwatch on. I thought he was just powered up. Ah, that was my bad. That was my bad. We'll vamp it anyway, because it's point blank. Look at that. 140 vamp. Oh, so tasty. Oh, wait, no, is he immune to vamp? Oh, I think he's immune to vamp. I just realized that. If y'all were yelling at me about that, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, look at this. We can easily heal up both people right here, like this. Jumpies. Wait, is he gonna get healed too? Yeah, he gets healed too. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, she also has the shotgun. Fantastic. So, yeah, if you... You know, you get your command line all set up, you execute all those cool things. You can get stuff like chain lightning, and the more you put chain lightnings on other chain lightnings, it will uh, start chaining to more targets as the game goes on. And we'll do her ability here. Perfect. And then we will also do his ability here. Perfect. And then Mario will also trigger his ability, but first he's probably gonna... No, he's gonna move right here first, and then trigger his hammer. Because we're not going to take any chances. Oh, man, we're still going to hit... We're still going to hit our our boys. Oh, but it's so much damage. It's so much damage. Oh, it's like a butt-ton more damage. But we'll have to go the safe route for this turn. So we'll shoot him. Shoot him right in the bean. That's the head. But yeah, so mechs versus minion was a... Uh, there was about 150 Canadians, so that was probably at the time about 110, 120 American uh, US dollars there. And uh, it certainly took a long time to arrive. Well, it actually didn't take a long time to arrive. It just took a long time because I was waiting so badly for it. So that was a, it was a really cool game that I was able to get my hands on. It wasn't a Kickstarter or anything, but it was just something that I was really lucky to get uh, during like my little board game phase there. Back when I was quite into League of Legends. <laughs> uh, question of the day or question of the day, I would rather say, because it sounds better. Uh, uh, were you ever into League of Legends? And if you were, who was your favorite character? If not, you don't have to answer. You don't have to look it up or anything and find out whom else, you know, whom the characters were. So we'll launch him up here. Nobody's running away. Nobody gets to run away from us. No one. Actually, I have a feeling chasing him down is probably a really bad idea. Like, really bad. Oh, we got to jump and heal, though. Mario's doing good, so we can... Hold on, I'll see how far I can move. So I can move up to here. And what about Rabid Mario? Rabid Mario can definitely move up to there. So we'll move... We will move Rabid Mario here. Why not? We'll move him here. And then we'll jump with Peach. So that way she can get a bit of heal for everybody. By jumping right up in here. Very good. Yeah. Blam! Look at that. Super tasty. But now I'll shoot Mario, but I'll throw the ducks. Bonus ducks! <laughs> it's a Team Fortress 2 reference, a good old good old game mode with Team Fortress 2 there. And this will that won't work against him probably. So we'll just have to do some some chump damage. Can we get the vamp on him? Nope, still immune to the vamp, unfortunately. And Mario can get the shot off. Alright, good stuff. 98 critical though, we're doing a lot of criticals. We're getting a lot of good damage in him. Ah, some good old damage. But yeah, that was pretty much just the the other, the last board game I wanted to talk about. That was like a, a really lucky find or grab. Uh-oh, what's he doing? Oh, is he going to blow his... Oh, no, he's got his hero sight on. Okay. I thought he was going to blow the frost and freeze us all or something. So yeah, mechs versus minions. If you want to look it up, uh, you can put in League of Legends mechs versus minions. I'm sure it will pop up and it won't be too hard to find. Let's see here now. We got 155 on her, 125. Yeah, we'll do this. 
We'll do this and then jump forward only a few squares to heal up everybody again. Because then he'll overwatch or oversight and hit us with that. He'll hit everybody, but then we'll heal it up pretty much exactly. And then, oh yes, we can reduce the damage. Always reduce the damage. Always be reducing damage. And I keep getting sidetracked when trying to finish off the story about mechs versus minions, but that's alright. Just don't worry, it's over. I'm, I'm, I've done, I'm done talking about it. It's good. I have everything I need to know about it. Or I have everything I have wanted to say about it pretty much now. So yeah, and then the other thing was uh, the PlayStation 4 Pro. So I'm, I've been having fun with the PlayStation 4 Pro. I uh, went and got Fallout 4 for it, and no, I won't be uh, making a playthrough of that on the channel, because it's a game for me on my own time. And uh, I've been having, I have mixed feelings about Bethesda games, because, well, Bethesda games always have had a really bad draw for me. I always seem to have errors whenever I play Bethesda games, like 90 to 100. Here we go, 101 to 15. Wait, can we increase the damage? No, can't increase the damage. Darn. Uh, like, I always get things like my game will crash constantly. Oh, there we go, we got him! So with Bethesda games, my game will crash constantly, or it will corrupt my save files, and I won't be able to load my saves anymore when I'm like 20 hours in. And I just, I don't like that. Like, it's not something that I, I I ever want in a game. They always make it feel unfinished. Like, I've never played a Bethesda game that's felt finished before. I know that's not saying much because I've only played a handful of them, but one, Skyrim... Everybody will tell that Skyrim's amazing, but my friend actually told me to download a bunch of community mods before even playing the game, or else I might lose my save files and there might be some fatal crashes and stuff I just wouldn't be able to do without the community mods fixing them. And to me, that's absolutely horrendous for a game company to have to rely on a community mod to fix its issues, right? You should be fixing that in-house. That should be your own, you know, your own thing to fix. What is this now? We gotta, we gotta hit the head, do we? Do we have to stomp the head? Well, oh, well, if I do that, I'll cause an explosion, which is fine by me. And then can I jump and then stomp it again? No, I can't do that. But I can kick slide it and then end right behind this guy and get like a nice double... No, because that's just an unnecessary damage I don't need. Hmm. And we'll, we'll aim this way because that won't hurt any of my friends. There we go. Kick slide. Oh, no, is that it? Are we done? Are we good? Oh, yeah, I think we might be good. Rabid Mario. Oh, oh, is there, they're gonna let the princess do it? Oh, is she gonna stomp it? Oh no, she kicks it! Right, yeah, because she's really good in Super Mario Strikers. She's got a really good kick. <laughs> I think maybe the Death Battle guys or the Game Theory guys used her kick force or something in a video. We are honored to have you join us, your royal highness. May I suggest we return to your castle so we may prepare for our next match? Yes. That'd be... Peachy! <laughs> Beepo. Beepo, please. Beepo. Those are my jokes? You can't you can't have those jokes. I'm supposed to be the one making bad jokes here, Beepo. Go, go home. You're done. Go home, Beepo. You're done. <laughs> so it looks like we got 15 plus 10, 25 power orbs. And also, perfect! And we got Peachy. Look at her, look, she's so cute. That that gun's way too big for her. It's not anatomically good, but it's good. Peach, she's kind, she's determined, she's ready to fight. Hail to the princess, baby! <laughs> customize her regally... Oh, customize her regally by accessing her skill tree. Team rank up. Your hero's health has increased. Yay! New weapons in stock. Yay! Sherbert Desert Challenges. Yay! The lift. You have lift. With this contextual action, you can up... Heave heavy rabid statues if you encounter them along the way. Yay! Revenge of Tutan Bwaman. Congratulations, you've unlocked a new co-op challenge. Cool. I will have to try those co-op challenges someday. Uh, but yeah, where was I at the end of just talking about that? Ah, that's always the bad thing about trying to do a show and a, uh, and a story at the same time. Can I, can I do the HQ? Can I do the HQ, or do we actually have to go back to the castle? Well, okay, so I'll go inside the castle 
here on the next episode, but I just want to see if I can't remember that thought before I end this one off, because it's right around, it's like the perfect time to end this episode, but I want to just get that last sentence that I was going to say in before I stomped that guy, which was, um, oh yeah, PlayStation 4 Pro, Bethesda, I've never had a good experience with a Bethesda game that I've played, unless it's been community modded, and that was only Skyrim, and even that put a sour taste in my mouth with having to have a community mod installed before playing the game, or else my game might break. So I'm playing Fallout 4 now, I've only had it crash once, and that's been after, you know, a few days of playing. So, I can say that Fallout 4 is at least one of the better Bethesda games that they've made. Uh, you know, other than that, uh, Bethesda games just generally don't have a great appeal to me because of their lack of finished polish, I, I would say. But, uh, yeah, Fallout 4 is doing real good. I'm having a bit of fun with that. So, there was the last sentence I needed to say. So, I will see you all inside Peach's Castle on the next episode of Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle here on Bite Size Beefs. Take care, everybody.